Hello, my name is Dragos, and in this video I would like to show you a WordPress theme, a free WordPress theme called Bloxy that will help you set up your WordPress blog easily with some interesting features and a very nice design. This theme has been released a couple of weeks ago and if we go to the WordPress theme repository you will see that it has 2000 active installs and the reviews are only positive, only 5 star reviews for this theme. As you see here, downloads are starting to grow and uh, this theme has a lot of interesting features that we're gonna see in this video. I have already installed it on one of my blogs. This is the blog and it is using some of the features of the blog scene. This is how the, the blog it looks. It has a share button here and related posts and everything. So the team can be installed from WordPress repository. So if you go here in appearances themes, you can just Add a new theme and search it for from the repository. Let me see. Here you, you have you just install it and activate it. Right now it's activated. So after you activate the team. If you will see here a Bloxy, a Bloxy menu, and here you will have some some quick links that will help you get into the exact options that you want to customize. You have some starter sites here like this you can just import it from here i didn't do this for my own site here we have an extension that we can activate like this could be consent like the widgets that are activated and so on so if you want to customize how this team is looking you just need to go into appearances team customize sorry and here you will have the theme options, the live WordPress customizer. So this is the options that the, this theme comes with. What it is making this theme difference is the possibility to customize the header. For instance, if we go into the header menu here, you will see that you will, you will have these rows here. You have three rows that you can you can use and for instance if you want to have the logo into the middle you can do that you put the menu here so it's doing like this you can drag and drop here various ways to customize it so for me i let it like this you have the social button options here you can directly edit this if you go into the uh, click and click on it, you can you can go and uh, choose your your social options here, like Facebook, Facebook, YouTube. You can choose the icon size, icon spacing, the color, label if you want, and so on. I've chosen a simple design like this, and here you can customize the color of the icons. This is for the initial one and this is the hover one. You can see how it looks in various ways, like this, for instance, in the mobile. The mobile is different. You don't have this because you need to, to modify the menu here. This is the other things that I wanted to, to, to show you. For instance, if you will need to add a button here, you, to be, you can do it very easily. From, from this if 
Here I will show you some other other things here. For instance, you can modify the color and we want to use. You will see that it's modifying very fast there. You can add additional things in the top row if you do it like this. Can put another menu here, like menu two, menu three. Here you have the mobile and desktop header. For instance, if you want to show the social here, just drag this, and it will be displayed in in here. Same if you do it like this. Of course, you can modify the colors and everything in here if you want. Here you have the elements that you can, can add. If you want, for instance, to add a button here, let's say I'll add it here, or maybe let's put it here. You can customize this, this button to do what you want. You can click it on here and here you can Change the label, you can add the URL, you have also the hover effect, here is the, the style, you can change the design, the colors, and so on. This is a very interesting feature that Blocks is offering, it's not that complex in, in other teams, so it's very, it's very, very nice. The other options that you can have in this team, in the general, you can change the, the details of the site, like the width, content area size, and, and so on, background, color. Here you can activate different uh, elements, like scroll to top, it will add a button for you, so you can scroll to top, like this one. This is just adding a frame. You can add a trading blocks here. This will add another element here, like this one, trading now. If you want to, to save all of the settings, you just hit publish and you'll have this. Sorry, okay. Now let's go back and see other things. We header we took, we talked about it. We have the footer options and here you can Customize the footer area. How would you like to sh show it? We have here also top row where that you can use to add different elements. We have the widget area, copyright. You can modify this as you like. You can add uh, even some social. Let's see here that we want to add the socials. You have seen here it appeared here and you can add different things. So it's it can be customized very easily. This is done. In, by this team. For instance, if this team can be used with Elementor, but Elementor doesn't have such a good control over the header and footer, and that's why you need to use a team to, to easily configure these, these things. So other elements that the team has is the sidebar. You can configure how, how the sidebar, sidebar is looking on the website. I know it's like this, you can put it like this to have with boxes, to have a, a line here, to have it like this. You can also go and customize the design after with the fonts and everything. Here you have the width, the container, size, and so on. You can activate the sticky sidebar. So right now I activate it and if I if I scroll down the sidebar, it will remain there. This is another interesting feature that is offered by this, this team and is very easy to implement. Let's go and see other things. Here you can choose your colors, look across the uh, site. Typography, here you can customize the, the font and the font base. It has a lot of options, so you can can go into the details here. Performance, here you can 
disable the emoji scripts, lazy loading images to activate it at lady line like this. Then you go into the details for the blog post. Here it's uh, actually how it will look into a category. You can, you can choose the design. For instance, if you click this. Ah, okay, sorry, this is for the main blog, not for the archive pages. So like this, it will can be customized easily. We have here the details, for instance, if you want to put the image on top, you can do this very easily and so on. You can choose the different design. So for a free team, it's offering a lot of possibility for you to customize these block sections. You can do it also like, like this. I will let the default one that I've chosen. Then you can go here and customize also these, these things. You can choose how many posts to be seen here. You can go into the design and customize in the future the color for the tile and font and so on, only for this blog page. You can choose to show the sidebar or no. You can choose to, to change the pagination. Here you have different types that you can choose from. You can even choose infinite scroll. So right now it will load indefinitely until my post of will be finished. So a lot of options that you can choose from in the blog section. Here you have the, the single post option. So if you go into a single post, you have here the, the customization options, like right now it's with the right sidebar. You can modify this, like this one. This will be done for all, the, all of the posts, not for only, only one uh, post, like only for this one. So I will choose the same here. You can choose what to show the feature image. Right now I deselected the tags and you can choose the uh, other elements like related posts. Right now the, the team is also having related posts. So we don't need to install a plugin for these things which makes things very easily and you don't need to install a lot of plugins to to have different elements. What else we have here? So you can activate different elements like the share box, for instance. This is how I configure the share box. You can activate it or deactivate it. Then you can even go in the details for the share box and you can choose where to be displayed in the left or right or in, in the top, let's say bottom or top, like here. You can choose the design if you want for the buttons and everything, what are the sharing buttons and so on, how it can be displayed on, on mobile. So a lot of options that you can check and play with to customize exactly how you want the site. Then you have the categories page if you, if we go here, right now they are configured like this, like the main site. So you can change that. Like the blog page, you have various options. If you go into the details, card options, you have the options to align also this. Change the gap, change for mobile, change the design for everything. So it's very, very easy to do that. On pages, you have the same options. So to, to configure with a south bar, boxed, sidebar in the left, in the right, in the wide, display comments on them and so on. I'm not going to detail. 
can do the same thing for the author pages if you have them third page it can be configured just to how you can display the search results you have a sidebar and so on you have other options here like the visitor engagement here you can add your google analytics directly into into this you don't need to to install a different plugin or add directly the code you just add here the google analytics id and we'll use analytics you have the social options here you can put your facebook page youtube account and so on and it will be displayed here or in other place that you will put the social buttons here there are core options like site identity you can choose a site tile or you can put a logo in here if you modify this you can use image or text not in the in here you can only choose that for menus you can create menus here i have only one menu but if you want to add additional you can do that and you can place them in header we have the widget area that you can use home page these are the wordpress course course settings so overall this is a very very nice team that it's offering all of these things for for free right now if we check for instance the load time of my site we will see that it's doing a very good job also there it's loading fast and doesn't have a lot of uh, doesn't have a lot a lot of files to load so the team it's it's quite light let me see we need to wait a little for this to to finish so as you can see here the site loaded under two seconds the total page size is very very small and the number of requests it's it's very small so this is a very lightweight team and uh, will help in having a good performance on your website if you want to to have a nice wordpress blog with a lot of interesting options to customize then I recommend to, to try this Bloxy team and see if it's okay for you. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video and you want to, to see the future video, please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Thanks for watching this video again.